Hello and welcome to part three of our four-part podcast series that highlights the working relationship between strategic sourcing and marketing groups. I'm Kathleen Jordan, SourceOne's Marketing Spend Category Manager, and thank you for listening in today. Today, I'll share some insights into how strategic sourcing can support marketing on a particular engagement, which we call the agency search or agency review process. We'll discuss how sourcing can tailor its formal RFP process to best serve marketing's interests and overall objectives, keeping in mind marketing's need for for true flexibility. Overall, I'm going to walk through some best practices and procedures to employ when conducting an agency search. Now, before we dive into the step-by-step process of an agency search, let me define what it really is. Let's say that a company has a particular product that they wish to launch in the first quarter of 2015. Depending on what the company wants to handle in-house, they'll likely need an agency of record to support the marketing campaign from a creative and tactical standpoint to help drive sales. And so once the company determines what they wish to take on internally, a scope of work to outsource will begin to develop. And a third party will eventually be assigned that scope of work. And the agency search is the formal process to find the best agency to handle this assignment. And typically, the relationship with the awarded agency is often viewed as a strategic partnership in which the agency is considered an extension of the company's internal brand team. So implementing a formal selection process is key to making sure the right agency is selected. Sourcing can do most of the heavy lifting throughout the the agency search and collaborate with marketing and bring them into the the process when needed, but overall, sourcing can do most of the work, and that should be communicated to marketing so that they're clear um, in terms of roles and responsibilities. And so today, I'll be walking through at a high level what the agency search process really looks like and what are the key elements that should be incorporated into the search. Phase one is the kickoff and data collection stage. And at source one, we consider the kickoff and data collection stage to be one of the most important steps in any sourcing process. And for the agency search process, it's important because you want to understand the primary reason for the agency search and what exactly the brand team is looking for as a result. If this is not to fulfill a new support requirement and there's already an agency providing the services that tie to the scope of work, it's important to understand what's currently not working and why why there's a true need for the agency search. The brand team is probably considering a transition to another agency, and so understanding the history with the incumbent is, is certainly, uh, certainly very important. The scope of work, selection criteria, and timeline are really the primary discussion points that, that need to be had. Um, and, and be sure to gather details on what exactly the assignment will be. Will it be mainly creative planning and production, or will media buying and, and planning be included as well? Also, sourcing should gather feedback on any a- agency candidates the brand team may wish to consider or not consider. And most importantly, during the kickoff meeting, Sourcing should seek to understand how thorough of a search marketing wants to perform. Do they wish to bypass the RFI or replace the RFI with on-site capabilities presentations? Does marketing prefer the RFP responses to come in written form or be in the form of an oral pitch presentation? So sourcing should be sure to understand how many times the brand team wishes to down-select before final award, and that will tie to how extensive the process will be. Sourcing can provide guidance um, around the the down-selecting process and and demonstrate um, its typical process and and show its ability to be flexible to marketing's preferred approach for the search. And and overall, sourcing should come prepared to the kickoff meeting with, with questions that will allow for a productive discussion in order to immediately get underway with initial conflict screenings and the development of the appropriate sourcing documentation. And so we get into the second phase of the process following the kickoff meeting um, that we call agency identification. 
So once sourcing has gathered all the necessary project and scope details from marketing, the market research process can really begin. And this entails developing a comprehensive list of agency candidates for marketing's review and feedback. It's important to be mindful, too, of other agencies that may be supporting other brands within your organization. If the support requirement is a little bit more specialized, it may make sense to go beyond those incumbents. Regardless, conflict screenings should be conducted and general information collected in order to better understand the available options. And, and so the length of your list will, will depend on how many times the marketing team wishes to downselect throughout the agency search process. Once marketing weighs in on the, the initial agency candidate list, confidentiality agreements should be executed um, to begin exchanging information with those agencies under consideration. And so then we get into the third phase of the process, which is the RFI, RFP stage. And this is the part of the agency search that marketing may wish to, to really customize. If marketing wishes to conduct both an RFI and RFP process, the appropriate documentation should be prepared and then distributed to the agencies. Um, the RFI is, is always released first, and, and a week is typically ample time for the agencies to complete their responses. The RFI should request information in the form of general capabilities and category expertise. And, and so once those responses come in, sourcing should then evaluate them based on the selection criteria agreed upon during the kickoff meeting. And, and from there, sourcing should offer up its ability to develop an, an assessment to, to share with marketing in order to facilitate a discussion and, and drive a decision to, to then narrow down the list of agencies. And once the, once the list of agencies is narrowed down, you then proceed to the RF, RFP stage. And the RFP is released, and in four weeks is a reasonable time frame in order for the agencies to prepare a traditional pitch. And during this time, a briefing call should be facilitated or some sort of Q&A forum for the, for the agencies to pose questions directly to the brand team and, and, and to gather additional details on the brand itself and where it currently is in its product life cycle. Now, marketing may wish to review RFP responses prior to formal pitch presentations. Um, if that's the case, the RFP submission may not request creative work, but rather more details on an agency's overall recommendation and tactical plan for the brand's campaign, um, which would be inclusive of a proposed budget and compensation structure. And sourcing can then, if that's the approach the team wishes to make, sourcing can then perform another detailed assessment to share with marketing in order to identify finalists to then come in and present live pitches on site face to face with the brand team. And so from there, we, we enter into phase four of the agency search process, which is the pitch presentations. And in order for the finalists to properly prepare for these presentations, clear guidelines should be shared either within the RFP or through a formal agenda. Once the pitch presentations are complete, Internal discussions um, should take place to really evaluate and score the agency finalists and determine next steps moving forward. And, and before making a final decision, marketing may also wish to visit the offices of the agency finalists to get a, um, a better feel for the, the culture of the agency and how the, the agency would, would collaborate closely with the brand team. And while these visits um, are taking place, sourcing can, can then negotiate compensation structures and overall pricing terms um, to, to keep the process moving on that end. As soon as the team has gained consensus on the winning agency, the agency is then notified of the team's decision and the on onboarding process can then begin. A, a master services agreement should, should typically be in place before the onboarding process begins because the winning agency then um, begins to receive a full download of proprietary materials from marketing. And sourcing should then also notify the other agency candidates of the team's decision and the reasoning why they were not selected. Considering the investment that each agency made to participate in the search, 
they all deserve concrete feedback in order to apply it to future opportunities that they seek. But strategic sourcing should also assist marketing in developing a statement of work with the winning agency and ensuring that a service level agreement is established as well in order to monitor and measure agency performance throughout the relationship. So today we walked through the five phases of an agency search and what an agency search is. And again, those five phases include the kickoff and data collection stage, agency identification, RFI, RFP process, on-site pitch presentations, and finally, agency selection. And when covering each phase of the process, we touched upon some best practices that should be employed. But the most important takeaway is the need for sourcing's flexibility when supporting marketing during an agency search. One of the reasons marketing is sometimes hesitant to work with sourcing is the stereotype that sourcing's processes and procedures delay decisions from being made and don't really apply to marketing. But if the process shared today is implemented along with a consideration for marketing's objectives and preferences and need for flexibility, marketing will likely see the true value that sourcing can deliver. And so we hope you'll be back for our fourth and final installment of this podcast series. We'll be walking through a case study with our listeners that discusses how Source One has supported a particular brand throughout multiple agency searches. We'll expand upon some of the best practices we discussed today as well. And so more details to follow in part four, and we hope you'll join us again. So this is Kathleen Jordan with Source One signing off until next time, and thank you for listening in today.